today's the day. 80 degrees, central Indiana, middle of April. It's been a cold week, so this is a blessing. So you're looking at a pile of cherry uh, trees here. There's about five or six of them sitting there. Some big, big cherry trees. Um, and then some, some average sized ones. There's a lot of cherry trees in central Indiana. What's particular about these uh, trees are, uh, basically I was at a gas station, the local gas station in town, getting a cup of coffee. And I spoke to a gentleman there. I did him a favor in return. He offered a couple of these cherry trees to me. He knew that I smoked meat. He knew I did firewood. He thought that uh, he didn't need all these and wanted to get rid of a couple. So uh, I took him up on the deal. So I immediately got a hold of Dave and sure enough, we picked uh, a great day to go out here. It's about 7.30 in the morning. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut them into 16s and uh, load them up in the truck and take them back and, and do some miracles with them, I guess. Or I guess not miracles, we're gonna process them. Haven't quite decided uh, what we're gonna do with them yet. I got a pretty good idea though. So you can see here I'm basically cutting these with a chainsaw. It's the Timberwolf uh, 4 CS491. We're also using the log um, um, cradle. I can't remember the exact name of it. I'll put it in the description at the bottom of the video along with the chainsaw and all the other equipment I'm using. But uh, you can see the chainsaw is making pretty easy work on this cherry got a brand new chain on it not a brand new I'm sorry it's a sharpened chain I swung by the Kubota dealer yesterday I picked up three chains I dropped off there a while ago uh, it's about seven dollars a chain so about twenty one dollars and some tax and uh, it works like brand new I was having a little bit of a problem with the chain so it was shutting down on me I realized it was still in the winter mode uh, I, I think it cuts off more air or gives it more air I don't know what the difference is I'm not a mechanic but basically there's a winter mode and there's a summer mode and I had it on a winter mode still coming out of winter so I switched it over about halfway through to summer mode and it ran a lot better. It kept wanting to shut itself off. Chainsaws do for maintenance anyways. I may just take it back down to the Kubota dealer, another Echo dealer and have them do some maintenance on that and the little steel chainsaw I have. I don't think I've ever had anything done. I know they need filters so um, I thought firewood season was coming to an end, uh, but Dave keeps pushing me to do more and more, so I'm hoping to God that this might be the end of it, or for the most part, the uh, blunt uh, amount of it, but uh, you, know, you can't turn down an opportunity such as this. This is good, solid wood here. We got the one on the top done. We're now moving to the one on the bottom. You can see the, uh, the log cradle there. It, it does a great job of getting these things moved into position. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll just cut the top three quarters of the log and then we'll rotate the log and get the last quarter. It all depends on each log is a little different than the other. So um, whichever way is the most easiest is the way I prefer. Just finishing up the last portion of the cherry here. We've got about a truckload and a half on a short bed truck. So not too bad. It's a it's a pretty good load. You can see the bark's kind of peeled off these cherry trees. They've been down for a little while. Uh, by no means are they ruined. You can see on the outside there's a small ring on the outside of that cherry. Oh, here's Dave in his funny cup. I thought that was funny, so I figured I'd, I'd give it a camera shot. Here's what we got in the truck so far. He's gonna run this load home real quick and I'm gonna continue to finish up. Like I was saying earlier, you can see the ring on the outside of the log here. Uh, a lot of times that will indicate being down for a while. It's, it's what they call sapwood. Well, that sapwood can e easily get water penetration. So the longer it sits on the ground, the more water the log will take in. After a period of about two years, a log on the ground, it's pretty much worthless. It becomes a sponge. The water just eats it from the inside out. 
So, you, you know, you can leave a log on the ground for a year, year and a half. But after that, you need to get it cut up and stored and stacked. If not, it becomes worthless. I've got a lot of those types of logs in my, my trees. This one, like I said, it's not been down that long, so it's, it's good quality wood. I don't see any of it getting ruined at all. That's pretty much a wrap on the two cherry logs that were given to us. There's the Echo 491. Good job by it. And then I use bar, standard bar oil. It doesn't be anything special. And then a 50 to 1 mix uh, ethanol free gas. So you got to love uh, being out here in the country in Indiana. Yeah, it's pretty flat. It's kind of boring, uh, but very, very peaceful. And you got to love the property. This guy's sitting on 300 acres, I think. Or his girlfriend is and she doesn't want to sell any of it of course it's in a great location it's probably worth millions of dollars but uh, she wants to keep it and that's her prerogative so as I was looking over the property Dave and I happened to look at the burn pile and what we thought was hickory um, ended up being more unlikely a maple tree I'll tell you about that more here in a minute but uh, we drove down the street found the guy the property owner and asked him about that burn pile if we could take anything out of that and he said go for it whatever you want out of that pile you can have and at the time Dave and I thought we scored some hickory we we text some pictures to some buddies you can see Dave there texting pictures of the inside of the tree um, to a couple of our tree guys we got a couple cop buddies that are actually uh, tree guys on the side and they know a lot about that kind of stuff and uh, they were trying to explain to us what to look for and we were totally confused thought we had a hickory the center of a hickory tree has a brown tint to it such as this um, we didn't see this brown tint until we cut one open you can see it here where I'm cutting at you can see the brown center and that's what we thought gave an indication that it was a hickory and the bark also is very similar to a hickory tree but the difference between this and what we think it is now is a hickory tree has a starred brown spot in the middle of the tree or the branches this one has a circle spot you'll see it here later in the video and we're pretty certain that this is probably a maple it's still good wood I'm not sure if it's wood that I would take today knowing if it was a maple um, but um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this but we took a good chunk of it you can see here the odd odd centered brown centers of that if you know what exactly what this tree is if you comment down below it'd be great we think it's a type of maple the outside doesn't look like a maple but the inside does it, it, is, it definitely still has value and better than the burn pile so i'm glad we're, we're taking it for what it's worth and it's been cut down so there's nothing we can do about that and i'm not quite sure why this gentleman actually is cutting down all these trees or where these trees even came from but the tree you're looking at the stump right there you're looking at to the right that tree is over 100 years old I counted about maybe a third in, it was 46 years. I got tired of counting the rings. So it's over 100 years old. It's a big tree. So we basically just cleaned up the rest of this tree, loaded up the truck. I think we ended up with three or four truckloads. Took it back to the uh, uh, wood yard. And uh, it's going to have to be a part two on what we do with it, which will be real soon. This video is already getting kind of long. But. Uh, keeps the wood season the firewood season going for another period of time here but it's all right it's a good exercise my back's feeling better since the last time we worked on it so I'm pretty happy with that pretty much a wrap for this video if you could please subscribe to my channel it costs nothing all it does is tell you when I post new videos it definitely helps the channel also if you give me a thumbs up and like the videos and then, of course, share uh, with your friends and family. It would be great. And like I always say, I appreciate you spending time with the Home Pro Heroes.